been a while, everyone. So let's get straight into it, eh? I hope everyone's been alright. I haven't uploaded in like a week, so today we're gonna do a two-part video. Um, number one, I'm just gonna explain how to side chain. Uh, one method of doing it as well. You can do it. There's so many different ways you could do it. Um, but I'm gonna just show you the way I, I've been doing it ever since I started producing. Um, and then I'm gonna show you how to save how to save it as a template, so every time you start producing your side chains ready to go. Um, it saves time, it's just professional, like, you know what I mean? I don't think big artists open up, especially if they're touring, I don't think they open up their laptop and try to set up a side chain and shit every single time. I really I really doubt that. Um, you want to just set up, start making some growls and go. So, I've opened up a, a empty template, because I use a template. Um, empty template. So, let me get some. Okay, let's say you want a side chain. Okay, how do, how do I how do I explain this? <laughs> um, okay, sorry guys, I've been using a template for like literally two years, so I'm a bit rusty with this type of stuff. Okay, typically you've st okay. I'm gonna use sample growls because I can't be fucked. To I'm not gonna make growls right now. Um, uh, oh my god. Okay, let's just say, got yourself like a little drop thing. Okay, now, you've got that, you've got your growls, you've got your drop, you've got your drums. Bang, and then... You've got your snare. So you've got this going, you're happy. Okay, and it's gonna sound like shit. So. Uh, I'm gonna turn it down because it's gonna be loud as fuck. So let's say you've got this. Okay, you get the point. You can't really he hear the drums at all, and it's because the crowds are overpowering them. So, first things first, is you want to make a drums bus. I mean, a side chain uh, bus. So, what you're going to do is uh, rename side chain bus okay we'll make that a nice color we'll make this pink whatever the fuck that is side chain bus that is going to go in route into your master and that's the only thing that should be going into your master except for your drums okay so yeah, so if you're new to this follow along because this is going to get confusing so you make a side chain bus that's routed into your master all good next to that rename i want you to call this Side chain signal, and we'll make that a different color. We'll go yellow. Okay, I'm going to use bright, ob obnoxious colors so you can see what I'm doing. Now, I want your side chain signal. Okay, you're going to come, make sure it's selected. You're going to come down to your side chain bus, right click, and you're going to go side ch side chain to this track. <laughs> okay, and take take it out of your master. Yeah. So you, should, so you should have a green little tether or rope. Okay, so remember you right click, side chain to this track, take the signal out of the master. Okay. Now what you're going to do is, 
you're going to make a drums bus. So your drums are going to go into one bus, so then you've got more. Why do you do this? It's organization, and so you can do a quick EQ on the whole drums, or you got this is more control, okay? Trust me. Working like this is a great way. So rename drums bus. We'll make this blue. Okay, now your drums bus is going to go into your master and then into your sidechain signal. Okay, then let's whack your kick and snare into your mixer. So, four, we're going to go kick. Okay. And then you want your kick to just go into your drums bus, take it out of the master, your kick. Okay, same thing, snare, whack that in. And we'll make we'll keep the drums the same colour so we know what's what. Snare. Okay, bang, same thing into the drums bus, out of the master. Okay, now we'll leave a bit of a gap. So now that so leave it at that for now. Okay? Do that first before you start anything. Now let's just say you've got this drop, so let me just six seven. So we're gonna go growl one. Or now also make a growls bus. Sorry guys. Growls bus. And we'll make these green. Okay, bang, growl one, green. Same thing, growls bus now out of the master and into the sidechain bus. So everything you want sidechained will go into the bus. Okay? So growls bus into the sidechain bus, growl one out of the master into the growl bus. I uh, hope you guys are with me so far. Now I'm going to quickly do that for all of them. Okay. Growl two. Same thing, growl 2, into the growl's bus, out of the master bus, okay? And do that with all your growls. Now, that's all fine and dandy. So now you've got all that in there. So see, look, you're nice and organized. You've got your growls are green. And all, remember, all the growls go into this bus. And that bus into the side chain bus. And how it works is the drums are going to give off a signal with this signal, right? And it's gonna, you're going to put in the side chain bus a fruity limiter. And how it's going to work is, you're going to come to compression, you're going to click sidechain, right click it, and you're going to click sidechain signal. Bang. So that now knows, the side, the side, once every kick and snare hit, the sidechain signal is going to trigger the, the limiter in the bus to make everything duck around the kick and snare. Okay, so let's get some levels right now. Drums, I'll go minus two kick at minus 1.5 decibels whatever I can't get it perfect right now what the hell okay grouse bus will go minus 2 dB the same thing 1.4 1.6 so whatever you've got a bit of a mix going okay now I'm gonna this is gonna loop and hear the difference in the side chaining, okay? And you want to set your res your uh, threshold and your ratio. So watching you up. You 
can straight away hear the difference and you can see the pink, the purple and the white is what's getting ducked away. And this little line rep is representing the kick and the snare. So that's how you get those punchy mixes and why things sound so awesome all the time. It's because of side chaining. And guys, that's pretty much it. Um, I actually won't do two in one video. I'll do separate videos. So this will be just how to side chain. And then I'll show you guys, probably I'll probably do a double upload. I'll show you guys the template and do a template giveaway. But yeah, so that's how it works, okay? Um, so that's just one way of side chaining. It's a very easy way and effective way. I do it, I still do it. And then, so example, if you, and then if you want to, you know, do uh, pianos and synths, you'll just go uh, keys, bus, let's just say, for example, make it blue. Same thing out of the master into the sidechain bus and then here you have you know your piano your nexus your chords your offbeat your uh, melody uh, synth um, and then just same thing route them all into the keys bus out of the master and then yeah it's going to be all sidechain and you can come back and change the settings of your sidechain however you want accordingly because each track would be different it's so like drum and bass you don't have such a um, intense sidechain, dubstep you have a pretty heavy sidechain, um, house music same thing it's pretty heavy so you get that so you get that effect in the track um, yeah guys so that's how to sidechain because I know there's a few of you who have been sending me like FLPs on Facebook and your stuff's not sidechained so use this video wisely so yeah and um yeah I'll see you guys soon with a FL organization video Peace out, guys.